Hello, I'm Dr. Don Bounty, DC Board Certified Chiropractic Neurologist and Diplomate with the American Chiropractic Neurology Board. The following case is for educational purposes only, but I think anyone will find it very interesting. Okay, we're presented with a 68-year-old female. Chief complaints were uncontrollable shaking and movements, primarily of her right side, but also her left side and her teeth occasionally. These, these movements and shaking have been constant since an automobile accident 30 years ago where she hit her head uh, during the accident. And within two weeks, the shaking began and has continued ever since. It's been worsening over the last three or four years also. Um, she's been to dozens of doctors uh, and specialists. No one has given her any explanation other than various diagnoses and efforts to place her in numerous drug trials. She's refused all of these. The main diagnosis she's had has been is, is centered around cerebellar ataxia, and also she's had a diagnosis of a hemiplegic migraine. She recently has some has has had some laser treatment to her skull over her cerebellum, which seemed to have uh, to show some slight improvement in her shaking, but was very temporary. She's excited about this since it's because this is the, the only help she has had in 30 years. She sleeps well, but wakes up shaking strongly at about 3 o'clock in the morning and has to get up and start her day. Interestingly, she can play the piano and do household chores with minimal uh, to no problems. Her other complaints include balance problems, weakness on the right side of her body, aphasia, which is a speech impairment, ataxia, which is her, her word, mental confusion and cloudy thinking, lost sense of smell within the last year, and severe fatigue and drowsiness all the time. Okay, that's the history. What I'd like you to present, is, uh, based on the history, take a moment, pause this tape, take a moment, and uh, I want you to outline the significant points in the history I want you to write down your initial thoughts about possible differential diagnosis and things you will be looking for in your exam. Uh, also, think ahead a little bit about the possible, um, any special tests you might want to look at uh, or have performed. Keep in mind she has had, she's been to dozens of doctors and has had many MRIs, CAT scans, EEGs and things like that, all which have been relatively normal or nothing significant. The latest uh, MRI, however, did show uh, two small white plaquings on the right frontal area and one in the left frontal area. Okay, so pause the tape now, write these down, and we will come back with the, her examination. Thank you. Uh, you know you're being, being videotaped, right? I know. And you're okay with that? Okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, let me have you uh, bring your hands out in front of you. And just relax them, okay? And we'll see if that winds up, and it also involves the left one sometimes. I'm going to see if that's done good. The left one looks pretty good today, huh? Yeah, the other guy's misbehaving, though. Yeah, well, we know that. <laughs> okay, I want you to wiggle your fingers like you're playing the piano. Okay, now I want you to put your hands up like this and go like this. Faster. Okay. Now I want you to uh, point to me and close uh, both, both hands. Close your eyes. And uh, remember how I showed you to bring your finger and touch the tip of your nose? Yes. Remember how I told you yes. to do that? And now do this side. Slowly. Okay, come on out. Now do the other side. Okay. Now I'll do the right one again and hold it there. Now bring it out. Now I want you to do it even slower on the right. Really, really slow. Go a little faster than that. Actually, wait. Turn it this way, curl your fingers in, and bring it in like this. Everything's shaking. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Okay. okay, again? Yeah, a little faster. Okay. Now, um, let me have you stand up real quick. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, now put your hands out in front of you. 
and I want you to just walk in, uh, close your eyes, and walk in place. Okay, take a few steps back there. Okay, now um, I want you to stand over here and I want you to um, walk heel to toe. Heel okay. to toe? Stand here facing that way. Oh, okay. And then. Uh, okay, turn around and come back to me. Beautiful. Okay. That's very good. Okay, now have a seat there. Yeah. Put your hands up. Relax your arms. Yeah. Hold your arm up there like that. Put your hands out in front of you. Okay. Back to here. Okay. 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 Nice and shake there. Yes. Why is that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> and it doesn't isn't, doesn't shake when you. Uh, when you rest it there, right? No. Just when it's out in space. Yes. Leave it up there. Okay, now that you've seen the exam, I'd like you to write down the significant exam findings. I'd like you to write down what you've ruled out, what diagnosis you've ruled out based on those exam findings. I'd also like you to write down your, your working diagnosis at this time. And I'd like you to outline a, a treatment program that you would present to this patient if she presented herself to you in your office. Uh, as soon as you're finished with that, uh, we will proceed uh, with uh, the, the results of the treatment.